We are going to look at muscles of the crural and sural region. Crural is anterior lower leg, sural is posterior lower leg. These muscles, they act at your talocural joint, your ankle. They act on your feet in general and on your toes. Um, we're not going to go over all of them, just their largest major ones. So let's start on the anterior side. So this is your tibia, and you've got this muscle that's just lateral of that sharp anterior border. Here is your, this is your left, this is, sorry, this is your right leg, this is the left leg, this is the left leg, so similar to this. So here's that muscle just lateral of the tibia, of the anterior border of the tibia, anterior border of the tibia, that sharp part. This is the tibialis anterior, tibialis anterior. Going over one, you can see that this muscle has tendons that connect to the digits. It's also long. This is the extensor digitorum longus. Extensor digitorum longus. We saw the extensor digitorum, the regular extensor digitorum on the forearm, in the antebrachial region. This is the extensor digitorum. This is the extensor digitorum longus. Tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus. Here we're on the lateral portion, connecting down at the, at the lateral part of the ankle, where that lateral, malleo, bleh, lateral malleolus is. This is the fibularis longus. Fibularis longus. It's on the fibular side. Tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, fibularis longus. Tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, fibularis longus. The tibialis anterior, um, the tibialis anterior helps you dorsiflex, helps you bring your toes up. It also helps you invert your foot, so bring your foot that way, inversion. The extensor digitorum longus helps you extend your digits two through four, your phalanges two through four of your toes. Fibularis longus helps you plantar flex, so it helps you bring your, toe, bring your toes down. So fibularis longus and tibialis anterior, they're both they're antagonists. This is more on the anterior side. This is, I guess, more lateral. Tibialis anterior does dorsiflexion and inversion. Fibularis longus does plantar flexion and eversion, so you're bringing your ankle out that way. Dorsiflexion, inversion, plantar flexion, eversion. Go around and we'll find the two muscles, two major muscles of the calf region, the sural region. This is the lateral left leg. This is the medial left leg. The big muscle that we see when we do calf raises, this big bulging muscle looks like a belly. The word for stomach related stuff, belly related stuff, that's gastro. This is the gastrocnemius. It has two heads, gastrocnemius. So the gastrocnemius is this large one here. If we look deep and inferior to the gastrocnemius, you can see it hiding under here under this tendon. This muscle hiding under here, if we pull away this piece, I think I can do this with one hand. Maybe, maybe, did it. Okay, gastrocnemius is more superficial. This one that's underneath the gastrocnemius, deep to the gastrocnemius, and deep to this tendon, that all of that is the soleus. This is the soleus muscle. Gastrocnemius, soleus. You can remove this part of the gastrocnemius here. Maybe. There we go. Very wide and flat, the soleus. So together, the gastrocnemius and soleus, they allow you to um, 
they allow you to plant or flex. They allow you to stand on your tippy toes. You can feel that flexing or that uh, plantar flexion, that contraction when you, when you stand up on your tippy toes. Both the gastrocnemius and the soleus, they connect to this tendon. They both fuse together this tendon, a lot like how the gluteus maximus and the tensor fasciae latae connect at a single tendon here. Um, this tendon, this is your calcaneal tendon because it connects down to the calcaneus. You probably know this as your Achilles tendon. This is your, what we know is, what you probably know is your Achilles tendon, but the proper name is the calcaneal tendon because it's connecting down to the calcaneus, that tarsal bone. And those are your muscles of your lower leg, your uh, crural and sural regions.